Okay, so here they ask us, what data set describes a situation that could be classified as qualitative? Well, in data there are different ways of measuring the things you're looking at, and the comparison between qualitative and quantitative is quite important. So qualitative looks at, I guess you could say, the quality of an item. It looks at the things that you can't necessarily measure with numbers. Right, so it might look, for example, I'll use a cup of coffee, since, right, I love coffee. If you're looking at the taste of the coffee, saying, wow, that coffee tasted great, that's a qualitative measure. But if you were to say, oh, wow, the temperature of, of that coffee was perfect. It was about, and I'm just taking a guess here, about 80 degrees, quantitative. And maybe that's way off, but... Um, the idea is that the quantitative measure, right, measures something that works with numbers. So maybe temperature of the coffee versus the qualitative, which at the quality of the coffee. So here, when we're looking for qualitative um, data, we're looking for something here that's not going to be measured with a number. So number, the first one, number one, the ages of the students. Well, that's something you can quantify with a number. So I'm going to skip that one. The test scores. That's also right, a score, seventy percent, eighty percent, and so forth, is quantitative. The favorite ice cream flavor is qualitative because um, you're not really going to put a number on your favorite ice cream flavor. You're going to say, my favorite is chocolate or vanilla or whatever it is, right? So that's your qualitative measure. But let's look at the last one. Um, the heights of the players. Okay, well, the heights, right, if you're 5'8 or 6'2 or whatever, that is a quantitative or number measure. So here for qualitative, look at quality. Um, quantitative something you can measure with numbers. All right, so let's keep going here.